Welcome to my channel guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro and if you stay till the end of the video I'm actually going to get into showing you how to make those captions pop like you see on social media. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, welcome to the video. Funny fact, I just recorded an entire 12 minute video, it was really good, I thought I nailed it and I didn't have the microphone on, so here is number 2. So I've opened up Premiere Pro, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and drag my footage in. So let's go into my folder, I know it's in YouTube, and I'm just dragging in my footage. By the way, I'm going to skip through a few little editing pieces to get to the captions part soon, but I should say, if you want to learn to edit reels fast Hormozy style, there's a link in the description for my course with a big fat discount. Students are doing it and getting that reels done in like three hours with zero experience. Just had to pop that in there. It's how I make money. It's how I keep the channel going and it's how I help other people. So they all love my courses. I put a lot of love into it. Check it out. Let's get back into it. So I've brought my video in here. I'm going to right click for a start my audio. You can see my audio is down at like minus 20. So first of all, Let's just make some little adjustments this video, I'm gonna show you. and we're going to audio gain about 12 and I'm just, just for example, I'm just going to use the start of my clip. So I'm going to cut, drag this back and let's just cut the rest of the footage. So we've got this to work with. Welcome to my channel guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro. So guys, I'll show you how to use the transcribe feature and make them really quickly and easily. But if you stick around, I'm also going to show you how to make them pop. And we'll look at how to make them for Instagram Reels as well, which is probably why you're here, to be honest, if you search how to add subtitles in Premiere Pro. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the track and go up to Window. And we're going to go to Workspaces and then Captions and Graphics. And if it looks a bit different, just click Reset Save Layout. And we've got this page. If you can't see text, it's text tab up here. And we're going to click transcribe sequence. Now we're going to click audio on track. We're going to go for audio one. So audio one is this audio down here. If you've got multiple audio, sound effects, things like that, you might want to just click audio one just so it captures it clearly and doesn't get confused. Now we click transcribe and Premiere Pro is going to listen to your voice and it's going to transcribe it nearly perfectly most of the time. So you can see up here, we've got the transcription. Welcome to my channel guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add subtitles in Premiere Pro. So now I'm going to click create captions, this little button here. Now create captions is a great feature. It's missing one key thing and that is you can't rotate the captions after, but I'll show you how to do that manually later on. So I don't really want to touch any of this. Maximum length in characters is like the maximum that you're going to see the maximum the captions are going to be minimum duration in seconds is how long they'll stay on the screen so for example if you were doing like a netflix video or something you probably want that longer whereas with a reel you don't really want a minimum duration because they generally pop shorter words so i like to think minimum duration the shorter this is the shorter it's going to cut your subtitles up into let's just leave this all default for now just to show you what it spits out Okay, so it's done it in two sections. Welcome to my channel, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro. So that's great. We've got the subtitles there. So now I'm going to show you how to edit the subtitles. You can select all the caption tracks to get together. First of all, if you need to fix a typo, let's just say there was an error here. You could just put here. You just click the orange, then double click the screen. So now if we want to change the fonts and everything like that, we go up to essential graphics. If you haven't got essential graphics, it's window essential graphics, and it will be on the right. So we've got the fonts here. Um, a lot of you might see the Hormozy style font, just like the course I've got is usually this monster at black. You could put all caps here. This is really obnoxious for these kind of subtitles. I wouldn't do this, but we'll have a look at how to do that with reels later. But you might want to go Arial, for example, Arial Regular. And then if you drag this slider, you make the subtitles bigger and smaller. And again, we're doing this to all the selected subtitles. 
So I can align to the left, I can align to the center. With subtitles, they're generally centered. You can add a background. So sometimes you see this on like Netflix or whatever, they will have a little background and you can play with the transparency of this background here. Uh, we're gonna turn the background off for now. Also, if you want these lines further or closer apart, you can use this little button by here. If you want the letters further apart or closer together, you can use this little slider by here. You can use all caps here and you can click zone if you want everything to generate in the middle. So right uh, in a box like this, you know, if we add another line, the line goes here and everything moves up. Whereas if we click zone in the middle, everything moves centrally. So this is better for the reels, which we can have a look at now, because I think that is probably what you are here for. So first of all, the reels are gonna be the other way around. Um, the composition is gonna be 1080 by 1920. So let's cut this, let's scale it up. Let's also look at my hilarious face by here. Uh, so let's go, yeah, so we're in the middle. So let's do it again. This time with the reels, we're going to go to text. We're going to go to transcript and we're gonna click create captions. It's already selected, but this time minimum duration, we're gonna bring down and maximum characters. We're gonna bring to like 20 so that we get shorter captions. I might also put single line. So now you can see all the text at the bottom and this is far from what we want. So we're gonna click zone, middle, because at the bottom of a reel, you can't see the screen. Then we're going to increase the size. Now, if you notice when it gets to a certain point, it creates another line. If you wanna change this line, it's actually this box here. But if you wanna change that box size on all the captions, you can select all your captions and you can come down to this little uh, icon set horizontal size and you can bring this all the way out and that is going to give you that that maximum box so what we're going to do is we're going to go to montserrat i'm just using montserrat black we're going to go all caps and we're going to bring this down here so now you can see we've got that more kind of reels looking captions welcome to my channel guys <laughs> Now what I do is I go through and I just make changes to, I make cuts to the sentences. So I might, I might want, for example, here, welcome to my channel on one line and to my channel guys, channel guys, and I'll just drag this out. And I'm looking at basically right before the next word in this video, I'm going to show you how to. Okay. So that's awesome. That's basically everything we need there. Now let's look at how to change the colors. So what I can do is I can just double click on a word here and I can go to fill. Then I can go to yellow and I could add a yellow in here. Welcome to my channel guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro. I don't really like that yellow. It's actually a bit of a monkey sort of green yellow. So let's just make sure it's yellow, yellow. Let's go here. Now what I can do as well is I can make the text pop. So suppose I want this word to be a little bigger. I can double click on the word and we can go up to the character size. I could go 80 and we get easily add subtitles in print. And if we want to make it more dynamic, let's just put subtitles in Premiere Pro in one sentence. Okay. Now we're going to make it all back to 60, which was the size originally. So just before subtitles, Add subtitles, we could have, we, we're going to make a cut here and we're going to double click on subtitles and make subtitles 80. And let's just make that like, uh, the yellow again. So, Add subtitles in. and we're going to bring that cut just before it says premiere pro Premier. and we're going to swap. All right. So we're going to make premiere pro 80 now. Uh, and we're going to give Premiere Pro this color by clicking fill while we've got Premiere Pro selected, clicking on this color Premier dropper. Pro. And that's how we get this kind of animation. Easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro. Welcome to my channel, guys. In this video. Now, the only problem is you can't 
rotate captions so let's do them manually and I'll show you how to rotate them so we're gonna click this text icon and I'm just gonna type in this video and we'll select everything go back down to 60 and we can just align this to the center just like the other one but we're gonna delete this caption track and we're going to use our manual captions here now if I want to rotate I'm gonna go up to effects controls rotation I'm gonna put like minus five and you can see I've got in this video I'm and then we'll we've got I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna press sit I'm gonna drag this out cut it we're gonna delete the captions and I'm gonna replace this with I'm going to to show you and again we'll align to the center but now I'm gonna rotate five degrees to the right and just align that to the center again and now we get this animation guys in this video I'm gonna show you how to easily add subtitles in Premiere Pro and I think that's just about everything that you could really ask of me about subtitles like I said guys if you want my full Homoji style reels editing course where I show you how you can cut and edit fast the shortcuts to use basically remove all the overwhelm from Premiere Pro how to make your audio a lot better a bunch of time saving things and how to make captions pop add emojis all that sort of stuff just hit the link in the description you can get my course like 70% off for YouTube viewers if not, no worries at all. Really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Let me know if this helps and if you want to see anything else from me. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Ryan out.